So when you talk about erections after treatment for prostate cancer, it's important to know this nerve bundle, this neurovascular bundle that sits along the side of the prostate within a millimeter of the prostate, this is oftentimes one of the most important things that is preserved to preserve your erections. Now, sometimes that can't be done. Sometimes this cancer has grown into the side of the prostate where this nerve bundle is, and sometimes that nerve bundle has to be cut in order to remove the cancer. Radiation also can affect these nerve bundles in a similar percentage rate, anywhere from 20 to 70% of patients after radiation, where external beam is delivered to this cancer, some of that radiation will hit this nerve bundle, and so, there can be decreased function of erections and oftentimes it's delayed. Whereas with surgery, there may be an initial loss of erections that takes time to recover. With radiation, usually there's a, a slower onset of erectile dysfunction that happens over the course of a year or two because of the effect and the delayed effect of this radiation. So it's important anytime you have prostate cancer surgery where this prostate is removed, no doubt your surgeon will talk to you about a nerve sparing procedure. MRI can be done to see if the cancer is too close to the nerve bundles or get a better idea of where that cancer is for preparation of your ability to have nerve sparing surgery for prostate cancer. Again, all treatments, any treatment can affect your erections, it can affect your urination, it can affect any of these structures down in the pelvis. It's important to talk to your doctor. Talk to your doctors and find out how you'll be affected with your choice of treatment treatment for prostate cancer.